Hey there folks, welcome back to Loving Around and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, now, in the last video you saw that we, uh, well, we uh, managed to get a bit of free time with Yuri. Uh, now, none of them have heard our poem yet, uh, so I'm wondering if that's still to happen and we'll still get the free time with Yuri, but we'll see. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to kind of carry on the, the narrative with Yuri after she gave us a, a book that she thought we'd like. Mm. Uh, she ended up buying two of the same book, apparently, and uh, just wanted to give us one. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see uh, what what we can make of this. I, I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? N not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologise. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let, when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's. I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh, that's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading... Uh, I might as well get started reading it, right? Y you don't have to. Uh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago you were... you said you were looking forward to it. Uh, let me just get the book. I can re quickly retrieve the book that I put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I step into the second seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah? Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, uh, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I don't understand what Yuri meant, means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. Not a, partic not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realise that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologise a lot, don't you? I, I, I do? I, I don't really mean to. I'm sorry. I mean... Uh, <laughs> here. It should work, right? I slide my desk uh, until it's up against Yuri's. I hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the pages. Here. Yuri takes uh, her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. To do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after the flips, uh, flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Uh, are you ready? Uh, to turn the page. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the best thing I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Uh, yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the pages. Instead, I just assume that she finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own ch uh, violation. V vo volition. Vo that word. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side, while she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might seem might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Y you think so? How does she... I swear, her was her eye always looking at me? 
I swear that I was looking at this at the page before. I might have to go back and watch that because I, I'm convinced her eye was on the page and not facing me. Okay. How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into her uh, your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. You're here being silent for a moment. But little loaf, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, it's so embarrassing that you think that. But wait. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I, I really don't know. You were self-conscious. Uh, mm, uh, English would be good, Chris. Come on. Sorry, I, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I more meant that it's kind of good. Uh, uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Uh, I... Okay, everyone! I forgot about Monica. <laughs> I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. Oh, here comes the poems. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh, Yuri exhales, exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm, in that case I'll read a little bit more tonight. It'd be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case I feel, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright, I right, stand up. I make a mental note of where I left the book and slip it back into my bag. Couldn't you have like folded the page over or something? Put a bookmark in? The literature cub. Come on, little loaf. Get a bookmark. <sighs> by the way. Oh, by the way. Did you remember to write a poem last night? Uh, yeah. Relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Couldn't really find any inspiration since I never really done this before. Well, now is that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly compel as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? I'm gonna show Yuri first. I like Yuri. She's nice. Yuri seems the most experienced. Should I start with her? I can trust her opinion to be fair. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Uh, what was that? Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. You're blushing there a bit, love. I, uh... Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Uh, th that's... I, I guess you're right. I am getting so nervous for... Uh, what am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a deep breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Ah, that's a huge compliment coming from you. It's actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly and looks at my poem again. Uh, I know that. I just meant... Uh, um. Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words of the, uh, in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognise in your writers is that, that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they try to they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, then form fit the two words together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. 
Once Yuri finished her train of thought, it's as if her demerit totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together to probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you val valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased high? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love, to, I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Right, I'm going to do my best poetry voice for this. <clears throat> Here we go. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That was pretty interesting. I quite like that. I I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. <laughs> That's terrible? Oh, love, you should see mine. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Well, I, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Oh, uh, 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 I missed that. Are you the ghost stories, I'm assuming? Oh, uh, oh, actually, the story, is, the story isn't about a ghost at all, little loaf. Really? I must have, must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose we did only glance over it, after all. Remember, the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of this poem is only being symbolical compared to a ghost. Oh, symbolically compared to a ghost? Yeah. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort before to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. It's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. Oh, it's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. I, I keep on getting lost with these characters, that's bad. That's impressive. Uh, it's, it's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Y you think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, little loaf. Uh, you too? Right, well, we've read Yuri's poem, so cool. Um, next is either Sayori, Natsuke, or Monica. Um, leave a comment down below. Tell me who you think I should pick next to listen to their poem, whether it's uh, Sayori, Natsuke, or Monica. Uh, tell me, give, me, give me some feedback. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about the series. Tell me if you want me to play other PC games. Um, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button up there below. Uh, up there below? Up there below. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button up there. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, or if you have already hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell button. You'll be notified about any of my newest videos coming out. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and in the meantime, loafing out.